assalamu alaikum students in the last lecture we discussed about the laws of reflection of light for the reflection to take place there must be a reflector a reflector is such a surface from which the reflection takes place like this board we can treat it as a reflector like when the rays of light strike this board after striking its surface these rays of light goes back so this surface is treated as a reflector but in day to day life the one of the best reflectors of light is plain mirror plain mirror plain mirror is one of the best reflectors of light in day to day life it is such an object that is made up of glass plain mirror is such an object that is made up of glass but this glass is plain it's smooth it has a very smooth surface it does not have any bends it does not have any curved surface it's plain that's why it's called as plain mirror plain mirror and it is coated with aluminum silver and many other materials where from the reflection takes place the main thing about the plain mirror is it is image like we see ourselves in the mirror in the plain mirror fine but the question here is what are the characteristics of image formed in the plain mirrors the images formed by plain mirrors like i am seeing myself in the mirror for example i am having a mirror in front of me i am seeing myself in it fine okay now my image formed in the mirror what are its characteristics so i would write down the topic characteristics of image formed by plain mirrors characteristics of image formed by plain mirrors the first characteristic and the very basic characteristic like when we see ourselves in the mirror the plain mirror we see ourselves in it you see that the size of that image is exactly same as that of the object i am seeing myself in the mirror i am an object fine the image inside the mirror is of the same size as that of the object so the first characteristic of the image formed by plain mirrors is that the size of image size of image is same as that of object size of image is same as that of the object fine so if i am placing this marker in front of a plain mirror like it's a plain mirror for example i place this marker in front of a plain mirror its size would be same as it is fine so it sizes for example 10 cm the image for formed would also be 10 cm fine so the first characteristic of the image formed by plain mirrors is the size the size of the image formed by plain mirrors is same as that of the object second characteristic <laughs> the image formed is at the same distance as that of object for example i am placing this marker treat it as mirror treat this board board as mirror fine i am placing this marker at a distance of 30 40 cm from the mirror fine this marker is an object i am placing this marker at a distance of 40 cm from the mirror fine the image formed inside the mirror would also be at 40 cm from the mirror that means image and object lie on either side of the mirror for example this is a mirror this is an object it is at a distance of 20 cm fine the image formed inside the mirror is also at a distance of 20 cm from the mirror fine or i can say the mirror lies the mirror lies at the midpoint at the midpoint between the image and the object fine so the image formed by plain mirror 
is at the same distance inside the mirror as that of the object. If the object is held at 50 centimeter from the mirror, if the object is held at 20 meter from the mirror, find the image formed inside the mirror would also be at a distance of 20 centimeter, 50 meter, whatever. Fine. So simply the image formed by plane mirrors is at the same distance as that of the object. Fine. Okay. Next characteristic. The image formed by plane mirrors, the image formed by plane mirrors is virtual and erect. Virtual and erect. What does virtual and erect image mean? A virtual image means the image that cannot be obtained on a screen. A virtual image is that image that cannot be obtained on a screen. Virtual image. What does this mean that the image cannot be obtained on a screen? See, if I am placing this marker, if I am placing this marker in front of mirror, treat this board as mirror for example, fine. Okay, I am placing this marker in front of the mirror. Now if I place a screen, if I place a screen here, here, fine, here like treat my hand as screen, a plain sheet, a white sheet, it's a screen, fine. If I am placing this in front of mirror, in front of mirror, do I obtain any image on the screen? No, we do not. In other cases that we are going to discuss later, you can obtain the image. But in this case, in case of the plain mirror, we cannot obtain the image on the screen. That's why it is called as virtual image. Again, I'm repeating, for example, this is a marker, this is an object, I am placing it in front of a mirror, now I am placing a screen, fine. Do I obtain any image on the screen when I place it in front of mirror? No, I do not. That's why it's called as virtual image. So virtual image is that image that cannot be obtained on a screen, fine. So the image formed by plane mirrors is always virtual. But at the same time, it is erect. Erect means for example, this is a marker. When I place this marker in front of the board, do it, does it look like that the cap of the marker is on the lower side in the mirror? No, it's not. So the image formed by plane mirrors is erect. Erect means when the upper side is on the upper side of the object and the lower side of the object is on the lower side in the image. The object is like this. The cap is on the upper side, fine, in image, in its image. The cap is also on the upper side. But if you see in case of a like common example spoon, on one side of, one side of the spoon, if you, if you place this marker in front of a spoon, you would see its image tilted, fine. So, but in case of a plane mirror, the image formed is always erect. Erect means when the upper side is on the upper side and the lower side is on the lower side. It's not tilted, fine. Okay, so the next characteristic of the image formed by plane mirrors is that the image formed by plane mirrors is virtual and erect. Fine. Okay. The next characteristic. The image formed by plane mirrors is laterally inverted. The image formed by plane mirrors is laterally inverted. Word lateral means sides, sides. Inverted means when these get exchanged. The image in case of a plane mirror, the image of an object in case of a plane mirror, the sides of the image get exchanged. For example, if I see myself in front of, if I place myself in front of a uh, plane mirror, if I raise this hand, if I raise my right hand, how would I see it in the mirror? It is like I am raising my left hand. That's why I wrote literally inverted. That is sides get exchanged, fine. So the left appears to be right and the right appears to be left, fine. So the image formed by plane mirrors is literally inverted.
clear so the these are the characteristics of the image formed by plane mirrors let's recapitulate a bit the image formed by plane mirrors is of the same size as that of object the image formed by plane mirrors lies at the same distance from the mirror as that of the object fine third the image formed by plane mirrors is virtual that is that cannot be obtained on screen and it is erect fine okay the next characteristic the image in the plane mirror shows lateral inversion the phenomena of lateral inversion or we can say the image in case of a plane mirror is laterally inverted fine okay so if we place a b in front of mirror this is an object it would appear to be like this fine okay so this is called the lateral inversion so these are the characteristics of image formed by plane mirrors and the plane mirror is such an object whose reflecting surface is smooth plane fine now now our topic is spherical mirrors spherical mirrors first we discussed about the plane mirrors now we have spherical mirrors spherical mirrors now what are spherical mirrors spherical mirrors are those mirrors whose reflecting surface is not plane whose reflecting surface is not like that of a plane mirror then what kind of uh, surface it is it is let's remember it like this the reflecting surface is curved spherical mirrors are those mirrors whose reflecting surface is curved or we can say bent whose reflecting surface is bent or curved for example if i take this paper if i take this paper like it's a mirror fine it's a plane mirror fine it's a plane mirror now if i put like this now what happened to this smooth surface now this smooth surface is curved it is curved outwards and not necessarily outwards let's say it's like this now its reflecting surface or plane surface has turned again curved but it is curved inwards in both the cases whether the reflecting surface whether the reflecting surface is curved outwards or inwards in both the cases it is said to be a spherical mirror the general term used for curved reflecting surfaces is a spherical mirror so again i am repeating for example this is a plane mirror now if i put this plane mirror like this now if i bent the surface of a plane mirror bent either outwards or inwards in both the cases it is bent in both the cases it is bent outwards or inwards this reflecting surface curved whether it is bent inwards or outwards this reflecting surface is curved and that's why it is said to be a spherical mirror so spherical mirrors are those mirrors whose reflecting surface is bent or curved whether inwards or outwards now based on this whether the reflecting surface is curved inwards or outwards and its property of reflection whether it converges or diverges the rays of light we have two types of spherical mirrors we have two types of spherical mirrors first is known as convex mirror convex mirror convex mirror it's a spherical mirror that means its reflecting surface is its reflecting surface is bent its reflecting surface is bent but it is bent outwards whose reflecting surface is bent outwards convex mirror is that mirror whose reflecting surface is bent outwards like this fine 
we place uh, let's consider this that this surface is polished with aluminum silver and the back side is polished with paint fine okay now this surface this reflecting surface the surface polished with the silver it's bent outwards this mirror this curved surface or this mirror is said to be a convex mirror so what's a convex mirror it is that type of spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is bent outwards whose reflecting surface is bent outwards we can draw its diagram as like this this is reflecting surface this is reflecting surface fine so convex mirror is that type of spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is bent outwards now this convex mirror is also known as this convex mirror is also known as diverging mirror diverging mirror diverging mirror why is it called as diverging mirror c if this is a reflecting surface if this is a reflecting surface of this mirror when the rays of light fall on it when the rays of light are incident on the mirror such that they are parallel fine actually parallel to principal axis which we will discuss in the next topic okay so when the rays of light fall on it fine fall on the uh, spherical mirror or convex mirror these rays of light after getting reflected these rays of light after getting reflected diverge in different directions these get scattered in different directions these spread in different directions that's why it is called as diverging mirror that means when the rays of light are parallel to each other and fall on a parallel to principal axis and fall on the spherical mirror these rays of light get diverged these rays of light spread like this when the rays of for example i am a spherical mirror these rays of light are coming towards me fine they fall on me after the reflection takes place these do not get reflected in the same direction or they get directed towards a common point no they get diverged like this fine the incident rays are coming in this way now these incident rays after the reflection takes place these get diverged in different directions like this that's why it is called as diverging mirror fine okay so based on it is use we have some other names of uh, convex mirror as well which we will discuss in its uses okay so convex mirror is a spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is bent outwards and it's also called as diverging mirror because it diverges the rays of light okay now the second type of spherical mirror is the second type of spherical mirror is concave mirror the second type of spherical mirror is concave mirror concave mirror is that type of spherical mirror it's opposite to that whose reflecting surface whose reflecting surface is bent inwards whose reflecting surface is bent inwards that means this is the reflecting surface of concave mirror so this surface is polished with paint while this surface is polished with the reflecting material like silver aluminum etc fine okay so uh, the concave mirror is that type of spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is bent inwards fine okay so it is that type of spherical mirror which converges the rays of light this very spherical mirror converges the rays of light after reflection what does that mean it means when the rays of light fall on this when the rays of light fall on this mirror fine after the reflection takes place they get directed towards a common point 
they get converged, they get directed towards a common point. Like the rays of light are coming in this direction, falling on the spherical mirror, concave mirror. After the reflection takes place, they do not get spread in different directions, but they get directed towards a particular point. They get converged, they came like this way, and they get, after reflection takes place, they get converged like this. That's why this mirror is also called as converging mirror. This mirror is also called as converging mirror. So concave mirror is that spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is bent inwards and where the rays of light get converged after the reflection takes place. It's also called as converging mirror while convex mirror is also called as diverging mirror. So we can simply say if it is a reflecting surface, fine. If it is bent outwards, it's convex mirror. If it is bent inwards, it is concave mirror. Convex mirror is also called as diverging mirror because it diverges the rays of light and concave mirror is also called as converging mirror because it converges the rays of light. So these are the two types of spherical mirror and we would get to their uses in the next lecture inshallah. Thank you.